Alright, so at this point you should have all the video files you're going to use ready to burn to a DVD. This includes the main video. I usually record the closing speaker and put that in the video file. Um, if you have time, it's kind of fun to do something fun. Like either, I like, my favorite one I've done is the retreat in 102 seconds or however long it takes you to edit it down. Some kind of short form video is nice because King can show that at chapel and it's easier to advertise with 5 minutes than 25 minutes. So now you want to burn a DVD. Um, the Adobe Premiere can burn a DVD but I don't like the menu system. So what I tend to use is the power producer. It'll take a little bit to load up. Um, it doesn't have the most backgrounds available, but the menu system's easiest to use and get how you want it. Um, I like that it has different button configurations. You're going to produce a movie disc, and you want it. DVD and you're gonna have to check your disk but 90% of the time the disks we buy are 4.7 gigabytes. Don't buy ones that are 1.4 they will not hold the full movie. Alright so you're gonna import video files wherever you exported them I'm gonna assume you have them in the uh, let's go there. on the camera um, you can edit the file name by double clicking on it you can highlight the video and edit the chapters put in the chapter markers it takes a little time but it's not that bad um, um, you can also edit menu settings and it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you can change the different files, backgrounds, Backgrounds is what I meant. Some of them move, it's kind of weird. Um, when you're gonna burn a DVD, um, go down to two fix. There's one out in the open. What I usually do because I work in the CAE next door is I get one on the day I work and while I'm working I burn a DVD. They're pretty good if you just ask them if you can take it next door if you don't want to sit in two fix. That's, they're good about it. If they're reluctant to let you take it, offer to leave collateral in the form of your student ID and then I've never been turned down once I did that. Um, and that's about it. Then you'll have a disc that you can take over to Loggy to burn more copies of. Don't sit down in 2Fix and burn multiple discs. Take it over to the machine in Loggy, which I'll show you how to use on a later episode. Video. Yeah.